Hi, this is Brian Kosky coming to you from the Filtrols Basement Laboratory. We're going to show you today how the Filtrol is helping to solve the microfiber pollution issue. Microfibers are becoming a huge environmental concern because these tiny little synthetic particles are making their way through wastewater treatment plants into our waterways and working their way up to the food chain and potentially into our bodies. So one of the things that we have going right now is we have a king size polyester synthetic comforter in the washing machine. We went through the wash cycle, it's getting ready to go ahead and uh, go through the rinse cycle, uh, spin cycle, and inside the washing machine we have the comforter and what happens in the washing machine is it works its way back and forth. There's hundreds of thousands of tiny little fibers that shed in the washing cycle. Uh, when that gets discharged out of your washing machine, again, it can make it out in your drain through um, into, the, into our waterways. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how the Filtrol is helping to solve that problem by catching all those tiny pollutants before they leave your house. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the spin cycle and show you how water moves through the Filtrol and catches all these tiny microfibers that are coming out of your laundry. So as you can see, the, uh, the filter all is just simply an inline washing machine filter that attaches to the wall, to your washing machine hose. The water comes up through the top, uh, through the lid of the washing or the filter all. It captures all the lint inside of this 100 micron poly mesh filter bag. All these little tiny particles, a lot of them are smaller than a human hair, uh, so you can't even really see them. But once they kind of combine up together, they form these little lint balls that you can actually visually see. You can actually see some of it starting to build up right there in the corner of the filter bag. Um, the, the water, once it goes through the filter, actually drains through this discharge hose, and that eventually goes into your drain, into a wall receptacle, or a standpipe. So again, you can see the, the fiber starting to ball up inside of the filter right there, they're spinning around, they're uh, grabbing onto each other. This also is going to catch any other sort of small pollutants that are coming out through the washing machine, uh, such as glitter, sequins, hair, dirt, grit, metal shavings, uh, wood dust, anything that gets in your pants or in your pockets, it's going to catch all of that material. The filter all has a reusable bag, it's cleanable, you can remove it once you remove the lid off the unit, and you can empty that out into the trash and dispose of the, those plastic microfiber pollutants uh, properly. All right, now that we've shown you how the filter all works, we're gonna go ahead and take off the lid, pull out the filter, and show you exactly what it caught. Remove the clips, remove the lid. We pull out our 100 micron reusable poly filter. And you can see all the little tiny microfibers it caught uh, from just one wash of that fleece blanket. And if you didn't have a filter all, what happens is all these tiny microfibers are gonna make their way down your drain into your wastewater treatment plant. And studies have shown that the majority of these fibers actually make their way through the wastewater treatment plant into our rivers and potentially our oceans, getting into fish, working their way up to the food chain, and eventually onto our dinner plate. Now that we've shown you how the Filtrol works and how effective it is at catching microfibers, visit our website at filtrol.net to learn more or to purchase Filtrol for yourself.